turn now to what was another step, another chapter in space history in this country. And along for this ride, one Michael Strahan. Yes, Blue Origin. That rocket blasted off going to the edge of space with six crew members on board and among them, one we know so well around here. Our friend, our family, our colleague, Michael Strahan. Andy Robach here with us now. We watched this together. I had a different seat than you did. You were right there in the desert to watch this thing take off on Saturday. It was. It was an incredible moment for me. Even more momentous, of course, for Michael Strahan. And yes, it brought a whole new meaning to the word touchdown. I went there for our friend Stray. When we asked him about his trip, he said it's almost like an out-of-body experience. Michael, along with his five fellow crew members, blasting off into space Saturday morning on the new Shepard capsule beyond the 62-mile-high Carmen line, marking the edge of space. This is so much fun. Back on Earth, I spent the morning reporting live from Blue Origin People, Launch Site 1 with my fellow ABC colleagues. Like there was nothing, I imagine, quite like ex uh, experiencing a rocket blast off here on Earth. Yep. Thrilled, yet awesome. full of nerves, we'll watching it all off. unfold. And, Robach, this is, yes, we, we are covering an event, but this is a friend of ours. Yeah. For Michael, it was like game day, feeling upbeat and ready to embark on an out-of-this-world journey. I actually feel confident and calm. Um, prepared to do it, going to be fun, going to be epic. Uh, I think everyone else outside is probably a lot more nervous uh, than, than, than I am. They're on their way. The crew made their way to the launch pad with some cheering from friends, family, and mission control. Then up the stairs to the launch tower. All the training and practice coming down to these moments. Astronaut Stray, how do you read me? Stray is good. Bottom Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to launch this rocket. Man engine start. Two, one. Mission control has confirmed New Shepard has cleared the tower. Our original six are getting the ride of their lives right now. They have practiced for this, and now it's really happening. <laughs> We're doing this, guys. Oh, oh, check this out. Oh, my God. While in space, posing for pictures and enjoying that breathtaking view. Holy what moly. The... Just more than 10 minutes after liftoff, the capsule making its way back. Oh, there it is right there. Touching down safely back on Earth. But we cannot wait to that for that door to open and for us to finally <laughs> see Cuz Lightyear uh, back on Earth. Welcome back, guys. Oh! Strahan is out of the castle. This crew now bonded by this rare monumental experience. Thank you. And you were my always there for me. <laughs> Getting pinned with his astronaut wings, the final civilians to receive this honor from the FAA. I am so proud of you. Oh my God. You have no idea. So tell me, how, like, how do you feel right now? Do you feel different? I feel it's it's surreal. Like out of out of it's it's such it's almost like an out of body experience. You know, it's hard to even believe it happened. And it's such a the feeling of almost being completely out of control. You completely trust your life is in the hands of other people who are you deem smarter than you, know exactly what's going to happen at certain points and how to take you up and bring you down safely. And they couldn't have been better here. I, it was fantastic. But it's a crazy feeling, like the feeling of weightlessness, the feeling when the booster goes off, the rocket goes off, and it detaches, and you don't know what's up from down. Yeah. And your body just goes like this, and you take off a seatbelt. But naturally, it feels natural to move. You're like swimming in, zero in the air. Deep. But if you swim, you don't go anywhere. You actually have to push off things and touch things very gently, but it feels very natural. And just see the curvature, the atmosphere, blue, the earth. Just, it was too short. <laughs> the trip was too short. Do you have a new perspective? It's transformational in the way that, it's transformation in a lot of ways happens before you even go. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of your family, a lot of your friends, um, a lot of people who, you know, for me, being a football player, all the tough talk with your boys, when you're getting ready to do something like this, then the I love you's and, and, and all the 
things that come out that you would not expect to hear mm. um, before this trip happened, which so in a lot of ways was transformational and, and my understanding of how much I love people here, mm. how much I people love me here, and my relationship in their life and their relationship in my life and the importance of it. Is astronauts Ray going to the moon next? Yes! If they invite me, I'm going to the moon. And I'm gonna walk and talk. Moonwalk for one. <laughs> it's a special, special journey that I wish that as many people as possible can go on and will go on. And you're paving the way. So cool. All right, Michael sent us a message this morning, so take a look, everyone. Hey everybody, hope you all are good. I will be in tomorrow. I cannot wait. Robin, George, TJ, I cannot wait to tell you all about my trip to space and also everyone there at home. And I'm um, looking forward to it. <laughs> By the way, I asked him what he did right before the mm -hmm. liftoff when they were counting down. I said, did you pray? He goes, I actually was taking a nap. Uh -huh. <laughs> that sounds like straight. <laughs> yeah, can we just say your expression, both of you, Look. during the, the special <laughs> coverage? Because as you said, it's our friend, it's yeah. our colleague, yeah. and we know he's in great hands, but it was those anxious moments, but your expressions <laughs> were something else. It, the moment he saw him walking the steps up the tower is when it yeah. first yeah. kind pounding. of yeah. Yeah, When you scary. just said that, I went right back into where, the way I was feeling that mm -hmm. morning where my heart was pounding. I can't, but he was. Cool as a cucumber. Yeah. Cool. We it weren't, but he was. experience for him. You can't imagine. Yeah. Incredible. Wow. Well, yes, he'll be here tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.